Patchwork by Andrew Haunt. Each square of the quilt held a memory. Grandma's stitching was neat and orderly, just like she'd been herself. The squares that made up the quilt were anything but. I ran my fingers over it and tried to pick out which squares had been added when. The purple square with blue stars carried with it the memory of a winter evening, choosing fabrics with Grandma while my late granddad did crossword puzzles and grumbled answers at game shows he loved. The pink swirly square brought back the memory of spilling squash when I was little. One corner still had the ancient stain visible. The house was cold, but it was a relief after the humidity in the chapel as we said goodbye to the best grandma a boy could have. The grandma who knew about the patchwork dead. She told me about them after Grandad died. It was a secret between us. I was heartbroken and needed the comfort. She told me how she'd like to remember those that she had lost throughout life with the quilt. She showed me the scissors, the thread, how to ease the skin from a body, best when fresh, best when still warm, easier to prize away. We would drink tea and she would show me how she had taken the police officer's face, how she had stolen the cheek of a former lover, how she had peeled the scalp of an old man just prior to his cremation. Dozens of the squares in the quilt had been sourced this way. I patted the wall where the secret panel hid the space she hung and dried and stretched the skins. The hooks were good quality. They'd lasted a long time. I saw Dad's car arriving outside. He would want his pick of memory-laden treasures too. I rolled the scissors, thread and needles up in the quilt, its brightly coloured squares soft with the feel of perfect human leather. I bagged them up. Dad greeted me and we embraced. We missed her, but she would live on in her work. And I began to plan crafting days to come. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.